Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids. In this edition, we're going to be talking about exercise and diving. We got an inquiry of one of our members who exercises regularly and he wanted to know whether it would be possible for him to maintain an exercise routine. His routine usually involves 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. exercise and how could he fit especially a deep dive because he's doing an advanced course how could he fit that in in relation to diving. Now I want to start by giving a broader framework and then narrowing it down and the following is necessary to be said about exercise. What we know from the literature, in other words from scientific documents so far, is that strenuous exercise 24 hours prior to a dive seems to be helpful in limiting the number of bubbles that are released and reducing the incidence of decompression illness. What we also know is that exercise immediately prior to a dive does not seem to be helpful and could be possibly harmful. We know that exercise at the bottom during a dive may increase the amount of inert gas that is absorbed and therefore also potentially increase the risk of decompression illness uh, following the dive. We then know that exercise during the decompression stops or the staged decompression is helpful at least mild or moderate exercise moving the arms and limbs because it releases bubbles while they are small due to the increased ambient pressure and it would not aggravate the ultimate outcome or increase the chances of exercise induced bubble formation uh, when it is hazardous. The question comes or the question arises what should we do after diving? Now in the first two hours after any dive there is the greatest chance of bubble formation and our concern is while there are bubbles and even more so if we can increase the number of circulating bubbles this may increase the chances of either having a paradoxical shunt in other words bubbles moving from the right to the left side of the heart that could be a problem or they may even shunt through the lung because our lungs do not necessarily serve as a perfect filter of these bubbles so the bottom line is that we prefer for people not to exercise up to four hours after diving. So getting back to the question of this individual, and we appreciate your question, is that we would not recommend that you do any exercise or strenuous exercise within four hours of diving and preferably not within the first four hours after diving. With those two provisors, it is unlikely that the exercise that you perform would have an appreciable effect on the number of bubbles that you produce or for whatever reasons and there are many reasons that we don't understand cause you to have an increase in risk an overall risk of developing decompression sickness or decompression illness symptoms the one thing that we must advise people who exercise though it's not uncommon to have exercise precipitated aches and pains in other words, after you've been jogging or been exercising on a machine uh, in a gymnasium, it's quite common to have some areas of tenderness or even achiness. And these should not be confused with decompression illness. So if you are a regular athlete or you're a regular exercise fanatic, or not necessarily fanatic, at least you do a lot of exercise, you should also recognize the types of aches and pains that are typical of your exercise routine and those that are completely different to the pain that you or the discomfort that you have as a result of exercise. And if that is the case and you have any doubts, as always, we recommend that you call Divers Alert Network and ask your questions and make sure that you get the right answers. Thank you for watching this episode of Dan Factoids. Safe diving and please remember to subscribe to our channel and to ask your questions.